Hey, uh, it's Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to show you uh, one of the more important videos I've done over the last uh, few years. Um, what you're looking at is MATLAB 7 uh, or MATLAB 2011A. Um, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how it's quite possible to use, uh, develop a, a trading model in Simulink and then be able to convert that into a C++ using the Simulink coder toolbox and then from there be able to import it into uh, a uh, Visual Studio and then have a C, C Sharp application which will become a DLL so that multi-charts a trading platform can use it and it can be used as an indicator or as a signal within the world of multi-charts. So let's get to it. Here's a vid visual representation of a typical trading model that you would find in, in, uh, in Simulink. Very simple nothing fancy but this this would be a typical uh, algorithm you may build or you can full-blown trading model if you want um, I've got some samples that I put up on for my membership so what you do to, to generate the code I've shown this before in another video is you just come under here you have options again this is a Simulink uh, coder Simulink coder toolbox you have two choices here in your languages so I'm choosing C++ what you do is just go build and that's it. It will it will generate your C++ code from there. Okay, so after building the uh, from within Simulink, uh, this is what's generated is these set of files, um, which is all uh, the C++ as well as the header file. So that's what's generated uh, courtesy of the Simulink uh, coder toolbox from MATLAB. Okay, so if I go into my um, Simulink, uh, you, you, there is a way to build the uh, visual studio project and solution file from this um, from this uh, set of files that are, are generated from MATLAB um, I, I, sh I have a, a tutorial on that from uh, for my members uh, for Quant Labs premium membership so these are the files um, this is typically the main file that you you would be worried about and from here what you need to do uh, is to create a DLL okay uh, so if you come under properties and you just create your dynamic DLL, uh, it, you just create it. Um, and now what you need to do is for your C Sharp um, application. Now I want you to notice here if, if you're familiar with uh, multi charts, um, with the multi charts, uh, what we have here are all the uh, out of box uh, indicators signals from multi charts. Okay. What I've done is I've created a new indicator. Uh, I'll show you how to do that within the membership. You create like this is this is a new uh, file that I just created in C Sharp. Okay. And what what I'm doing is um, I create my DLL as I explain here in this Visual Studio version. This is a 2012. I just want people to realize. Don't don't ask me. It's part of MultiCharts.net. Uh, it only is compatible with um, Visual Studio 2010. Um, but that's uh, not stopping me from what I'm about to show you. So what I'm doing is I have the C Sharp application, and what I'm doing is is I'm I'm calling my uh, my my DLL that I just showed you that is the C++ DLL generated uh, and co-generated from the MATLAB Simulink uh, coder toolbox. So this is how I'm calling it. Okay, I've, I'm just calling three functions here. Uh, this is a typical uh, out-of-box uh, boilerplate set of code for an indicator for uh, for um, for uh, multi-charts. Okay, so there's nothing fancy here. I put some code in here which will call the DLL. Uh, this is all from C Sharp. It will just do a a simple uh, manipulation on the DLL to run to run that basically simulating model. And what you're doing is uh, just to show a, a, a test. Like I'm not, I don't care about the model itself. I just want to see that this workflow can work. Um, what I'm doing is I'm dumping everything uh, to a log. Um, so in in that case, uh, right here, uh, yeah, I'm just dumping uh, to to a log, and it's just going to dump some information from from the Simulink model. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, this is all ready to go for multi charts. So let me load up my um, uh, my multi charts here. Uh, where is it? Uh, Multicharts.net 64 version. 
Um, uh, we're running a trial here. Uh, now, I just want to let people know it is 725 at night. Um, and uh, I just want people to know that the markets are closed. So I'm going to open up a, a chart window, uh, load up my Apple, let's just say my Apple chart. Okay, fine. Well, it's connecting. It's connecting to the interactive brokers. It's connecting to my IQ feed in the background. So here's my chart. If this was the market was open, this would be uh, updating in real time. But in the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in my study, which is essentially my indicator that I just showed you, which is uh, this guy right here. Um, it's called uh, the what's it called uh, test indicator. Okay. So if I go into my test indicator, I'm going to load it. Now remember, once I load this, um, it's going to it's going to uh, dump a, a bunch of data to to that log file that I told you about. So I'm going to I'm going to load it. And okay. So here's here's the indicator running in parallel with my real time chart. Now I could put whatever I want in here. Um, and what I would need to do is to verify that that information that I just told you about is being dumped to the log, which again is connecting in from the the uh, from the uh, from the Simulink model. Okay, so let me just show you that. Uh, okay, let me just uh, uh, get rid of all this crap. Don't ask me why they, these this weird location of uh, multi charts, but this is what they choose. This is out of box. So I have here my log. You can see that it's been updated at 7:26, which is just pretty well current. If I load up the um, the uh, in my editor WordPad, so here here's all my information. Um, uh, that just got updated from the Simulink model. So it is connecting into the Simulink model. Now what does that mean? Basically I am able to go from here, my Simulink model, ge generate my C++ code, and then have, so like I said, create my DLL from that generated C++ code from Simulink using the Simulink coder toolbox, and then have another DLL which is really meant for uh, the multi charts, and it could be a signal, an indicator, whatever. I have full control of all the source code at all aspects, every step of the way, and then I'll be able to call that C DLL I just uh, generated from uh, Simulink. Uh, and that's, uh, I just showed you that, and it does connect, it can manipulate, access the model, or the C generally. And then here it is running in my uh, multi charts in real time. So the advantage with that is I don't need to worry about, you know, connecting into uh, or building code that will connect into my IQ feed. I don't need to worry about code to connect into interactive brokers because that's all being handled by multi charts. That's why I'm, I'm going down this path. So now. I can start focusing on my strategies, my models, all in from either my uh, C Sharp here, which is typical of multicharts.net. Now let me just show you some of the functionality you can get with uh, the the multicharts. Now again, uh, I just want to show you uh, here. I'm using all the available. Uh, with a multi-charts API, we'll call it. I mean, here's all the available functionality I can get. Now, all these functions or methods, or whatever you want to call them, from the API are. This is all from uh, tip the typical power language, which is out of box for the multi-charts normal edition. Okay, um, but this is a special edition that multi-charts has released last summer. It's for the .NET, so I can use. C sharp, I can use VB, any .NET language. So I'm obviously using uh, uh, C sharp here. But you can see all the available functions that are m methods that are available to me. About um, it, it, it's an incredible amount. I mean, CSI, uh, I don't know, uh, price, 
Let me just load up something on. Uh, no. And here, let me just, I don't know, price. Uh, all this oscillating, all these different trends. I have that at my disposal. Okay? That's number one. Now, this language is supposed to be compatible with TradeStation's um, uh, easy language. Now, that's, if you have not seen the API, uh, in my case, I'll, I'll, I'll just introduce you to that. Uh, if I come under, um, let's say, multichart.net uh, doc, okay? All right, so here's all the documentation. You can see that it says that multicharts power language is compatible, highly compatible, with TradeStation Easy language. Now, if you have not ever seen the um, the uh, reference for for Easy Language, this is, this is how powerful Easy Language is, Power Language, what do you want to call it? But this is now available to me in my C sharp, and I can create my indicators, my signals, all within. Uh, from, from, from this environment in my Visual Studio. Very, 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 very powerful, as you can imagine. All right. So, I'm, not, I'm hoping I got the right, no, this is not the right um, PDF I wanted. Uh, let me just, uh, let me just go back to where I was here. Uh, yeah, this is what I want. Now, I'm going to let it download. So, Um, essentially, what you're getting here is, again, you get in this environment that is, 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 is connected in real time. You don't need to build it. Uh, once you make a change here at any of these indicators or signals for multicharts, multicharts, the platform will pick it up. You don't need to build it. It's all done in real time. Very powerful. So you have access to the power language. Call it your easy language. And now, with the ability to access a generated, uh, uh, a generated uh, C++ from your Simulink in MATLAB, you've now opened up the world of MATLAB through this methodology. And you can build that model visually. That's power number one. Power number two. If you have MATLAB's... Um, uh, builder ME this little toolbox right here you can now build in MATLAB uh, a .NET assembly okay using any uh, any MATLAB M script you, any 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 type of functionality you want okay and uh, because of that you can now come into this DLL in C sharp and be able to add that assembly to your product solution. So you just come under your references, add a reference, and that will be your .NET assembly built from MATLAB. Okay, and that is through again this MATLAB Builder NE toolbox. Okay, very powerful. So that's another option that you have. Uh, this this is unbelievable what you can do with it. Now let's take a, a uh, hopefully yeah here we go. Okay, what I want you to realize I just downloaded this is TradeStation. Now again this is supposed to be compatible with multi charts. Okay, it's supposed to be. But let me just show you the functionality you get with this easy language uh, uh, refs, reference manual. It's over 1,200 pages. Now I'm just going to pull up the the um, the uh, the um, table of contents. Look at this: correlation, coefficients, day trend, D trend, DMI, EL date, uh, harmonic. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Kurtosis, kurtosis array, median, MFI. I mean, half this stuff I don't even know. Oh, and did I forget to mention to you? Again, you got access to Simulink. <laughs> and and let me just rephrase that again. You have the whole 
world of MATLAB at your disposal, courtesy of this very powerful uh, Builder Any toolbox that will enable you to build a .NET assembly for your for your uh, C Sharp project solutions. And again, that could be all dropped into your multi charts. This 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 is very powerful. Okay, and if you have not played with uh, multi charts, this this platform is pretty incredible. What they've done with this release that came out last summer of 2012. Okay, um, I've got two videos already on it. I've I've only been playing with this software for about really two days. Okay, so uh, it, let me just try to pull up another uh, instrument here. Okay. This is why I like multi charts. I mean, I did like uh, MetaTrader. I did like TradeStation. Believe me, I thought those were great platforms. I would have, two years ago, gone with those platforms and developed strategies two years ago. The problem with those platforms are they're tied to one broker. One broker meaning that that broker, can you trust them? Uh, let's say if you're going to go through TradeStation, you're tied to t TradeStation, the broker. Uh, they can manipulate your trade. Same with MetaTrader. You got all the, you know, you, you've heard, I'm sure, you're, all the bucket shop uh, Forex uh, trading brokers out there that are, t uh, that are that will support MetaTrader. So you're bottlenecked by that, uh, that that trading broker. Well, guess what? Because of what MultiCharts has done, just on the data source alone, you can pull in any of these market data providers. LMAX, IKEFI, that's who I use. Interactive Brokers itself. Dukas copy, Dukas copy is okay. Um, Zenfire, blah 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 blah. On and on it goes. LMAX, I've gone on about. Very powerful. So that's your data provider. Now, let's talk about the trading broker from uh, that uh, supported by MultiCharts. Here you can see I am right now connected into Interactive Brokers. Now, I'm, I, I, to be fair, I'm only using the demo account. So in this case, uh, let me just see if this will load up. I'm hoping it will. Yeah, so it's going to load up the trader workstation. Um, so now I can do simulate my, simulate my trades through multi charts into this TWS, which is going through the demo account. Okay. So let me let me just uh, see what's going on here in the world of multi charts here. So um, here we go. So it's now connected into or should be connected into the multi charts or into interactive brokers. But I've got a video to, that shows this communicates. Not only that, but you get interactive brokers, but you get Rhythmic and Zenfire. Ryth rhythmic, oh, so there you go, it's connected now to interactive brokers. So with Rhythmic, um, you know, it's another good uh, uh, broker as well. Um, that's, I know some, some pros uh, use Rhythmic. So between the interactive brokers and the rhythmic you're all you're, you're, you're gold so at the end of the day this combination this entire workflow again from MATLAB if it's MATLAB you want or the MATLAB Simulink which I really like I've got a guy that's worked with uh, MATLAB for many years and likes this methodology because you can build your uh, models visually generate your models uh, in the C++ here create a DLL I'm just gonna give you a, a, a summary here so I can create my DLL from this C++ and then my C sharp DLL which is really meant for uh, multi charts can be imported we will import that DLL that C++ DLL from Simulink okay and then I can create manipulate and then drop that into multi charts so end to end it's complete all my members will get the source clo code including the simulink model this is why I'm really pushing the membership and not only that now but I can now focus using this methodology and workflow to focus on some very proprietary very profitable trading models I hope you see the power of this you see the value of this and I hope you really consider now um, the membership and the value of what it will bring to your trading and being the next trust, uh, next generation in trading. I'm, I'm just blown away by this. I'm hoping you can tell by my voice. Have a good day.